and gentlemen, the biggest nerd one coming to you live and in living color. Today is a great day. I just got a text message from Walmart saying that saying that my package, my package is ready, baby. My package is all set and ready to pick up. So come and join the ride today to go get the package from Walmart to see what we got. Uh, don't worry, it's not a wrestling video, so stay tuned to see what I got. Talk to you guys in a bit. Road to Walmart starts here, guys. Yeah, baby. Head to Walmart. Picking up the package, baby. Picking up those packages, listening to some rap. Get out. Get old fashioned rainy day. Get old fashioned rainy day here in Springfield, Missouri. Actually, Missouri. I hate the fact that people says Missouri. It's Missouri. That's an A. That's an A. Well, I'll get back with the guys later. Peace. The road to Walmart ends here. Oh, look at that. Mark out, Mama, what are we getting today? Oh, I swear. What up? And just like that, we are right back at the house. That was a quick trip. Going to Walmart, coming right back. I got a bag full of goodies right here to show you guys. And unbagging from Walmart, so to speak. Uh, let's, uh, let's get our goodies out here. Uh, first up, mm, a white bag special. What do we have here? I got me some A and W cream soda. Oh my gosh, mark out moment of the day. Some cream soda. Let's open this little puppy up. Give her a taste. Oh man. Oh man. It's, oh, it's fusing over. We you know what's fusing. Oh man. Hold on a second guys. Hold on. Hold on. Oh yeah. Whoo, look at that. Some A and W cream soda. It's kinda hard to open up a bottle of soda and hold a camera at the same time. Let's, let's give it a drink, guys. Let's give it a drink. Uh uh uh. A and W cream soda. It's good stuff. Right there. So unbagging cream soda right there. Uh, next up, I printed off some pictures. Okay, I printed off some pictures for you guys here. Uh, this is for all your wrestling fans out there. Um, as as you guys know, I'm a cameraman, and I was able, and I had these on my phone for a while, and I haven't printed them off yet. But uh, this is a picture of Michael Michael me. And Michael Tarver, when I was doing some camera work uh, down in um, uh, Mississippi, right here, and Michael Tarver was a was a not one of the nicest guys that, I, that I've met. So I, if you ever have a chance to meet Michael Tarver, um, go ahead and meet him. He's a, he's he's a nice dude. Second dude, he just got inducted into the Hall of Fame, guys. Um, some Jake the Snake Roberts. Um, I was doing some camera work uh, down in uh, Clarksville, Arkansas, and he uh, he he appeared there, and I got to do some camera work for him. Uh, and also a great guy, uh, right here. Uh, I could I heard a bunch of stories about him about him being a douchebag um, during his heydays while he was. Uh, messed up, you know, but this was when he was starting to get, get clean and stuff, and he was a pretty nice dude, um, uh, for, for this event, uh, I, uh, was doing the main camera that stayed still in, like, the crowd, and, um, and, and he, and he came up to me, and he sat down next to the whole show, and he pretty much was talking to me throughout the whole show during the event, and I had some great conversations with, with him that day. And one of the greatest guys I've met, right here, Jake Snake Roberts. So that's tell picture that I printed off my little wall of fame that all the wrestlers I've met. So um, we'll put that aside. And the main video, the the main 
point of this video. I am pumped up for, um, I've already opened up the package from Walmart because I, because I was that excited about it. Uh, but, I'll put it, uh, I, I, I did put it in a Walmart bag for you guys. Let's open it up. Now, a uh, little story behind these DVDs. Um, one day I was uh, scoping at Walmart.com and I saw uh, some Walt Disney uh, Treasures uh, DVDs. That's the that's what the series is called, the Walt Disney Treasures. And I, I never noticed that series before. So I went scouting on Walmart doc, or, or on like Amazon and eBay and stuff, and there is some super rare uh, Disney Treasure DVD sets out there. Uh, for example, there's the uh, uh, original Zorro series. Uh, season one and season two are pretty close to like uh, 220 bucks uh, just for each season. And um, and there's one movie that I've never even heard of. It's like uh, Doctor Oz and the Scary Scarecrow or something like that. And that was the most most expensive one. And that was like at 350, at 350 bucks for that one set for, for for that one movie. And I was like, well, nope. <laughs> but I did get a couple of of ones that were in the uh, uh, 20s, uh, like 25 and 23 dollars. And I and I flipped shit when I even saw these. Uh, of course, I'm a big media nerd, and uh, and when I saw this first one, I I marked out like a little bitch. I flipped out, and I went crazy. Um, if you guys remember, see the Walt Disney Treasures, and they, and they come in these nice little tins, and it's freaking nice. Uh, it's kind of it's kind of thick too, so I'm wondering how many DVDs are in there. But uh, Walt Disney Treasures: The Adventures of Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. If you guys don't know about Oswald the Lucky Rabbit, uh, a little bit of a background information for you here: uh, He was the precursor to Mickey the Mouse, um, and, and and you can obviously tell because the ears. The way the face is, and even the outfit is pretty much the same as the old Mickey Mouse. Um, so, uh, uh, Oswald, the Lucky Rabbit, it was kind of a... Uh, it was popular for a little bit, a little popular, but it, it failed miserably. Um, and that's and that's how Mickey the Mouse came around. And, uh, and this is what the back looks like, I guess. Um... See, uh, bef uh, before Mickey, there's Oswald, the floppy-eared star of Walt Disney's first cartoon series, uh, the, the Adventures of Oswald. Fun and mischievous, the cheerful rabbits, and popular, quickly multiplied, and so did his shorts. Between 1927 and 1928, Disney created a bounty of legendary and rarely seen Oswald cartoons. Uh, now, for the first time ever on DVD, we present the premier collection of Disney's Oswald shorts, all featuring new score composed especially for this release. The long lost rabbit's life story from his birth to his long way to return to Disney, and a documentary on the legendary Ub Eric's e works are revealing put, uh, portraits of one of the most important stars in Disney's. Uh, yeah. Uh, I can't read today, guys. So I'm dumb. So yeah, this is this is a mark out moment for me because uh, I've actually done a paper in college over Oswald the Rabbit. So this was a mark out moment for me when I when I saw it. So let's let's, let's open up this set and get a look at the DVDs, guys. Okay, I got it off, guys. Yeah, got it off. Okay, and like, like I said, it comes in this uh, this Oswald one. Um, comes in this little gold uh, tin here. It's pretty nice. And when you pull off those little stupid stickers, looks like you lose a couple of marks, which sucks. Uh, it's like a little stickiness on there, so it doesn't really stain it. I, I just gotta sit there and scratch it off. But yeah, it comes in this little crazy little tin here, and you and it, it comes apart. And, uh, and then this. And there's actually a DVD case in here. So that little tin comes off. 
Boom. And look, and it comes in a little DVD cover inside there. And, on, and this is what the cover looks like there. Well, there's any treasure. That's the spine right there. The Adventures of Oswald. And the same thing on the back here. Uh, on the back of a tin, it was like a little paper pamphlet thing. But let's open up the case to get a good look at the DVDs. Ooh. A certificate of authenticity. A limited series. I looks like I got number 113,402 out of 126,000. Okay. This exclusive collector's tin is produced a limited series numbering of 120,000. Oh, dang. Didn't know it was like that. Dang, mark out moment. All right, looks like you get some magic codes there. Walt Disney Treasures. A little pamphlet of. There, you get a lot of stuff with this. You know, pamphlet telling. Looks like about Oswald here. About a little bit of his history. Tells about what's on each disc, looks like. Which is nice. And here's, here's a couple more of these little. Uh, treasures here. Of course, there's that one I got. There's Donald the Duck, Volume 3, uh, Disneyland Secret Stories and Magic. Oh, man. I'm so happy I found this series. And then Oswald was the first Disney character licensed to merchandisers. Or merchandisers. The floppy-eared rabbit appeared on candy bars, a stencil set, and a pinned back button. These are the images sampling of the only existing pencil drawings of Sagebrush Sadie of one of the missing Oswald cartoons. It was first released on April 2nd, 1928. Well, that's kind of neat. Yeah. All right. And then look at the discs here. Uh, there's disc one. Oh, I got a little pin too. What is up? Mark out moment right there. Oh my god. Yeah, I, this is well worth the money. Okay, there's disc one, disc two. There's a bunch of shorts on here. Disc one is approximately an hour and 38 minutes. Um, looks like. This is with this, or. Okay. And then disc two is approximately two hours and 16 minutes, looks like. So that's. This is good stuff right here, guys. Um, well, that's, that's awesome. I feel like I got my money's worth now. Um, so let's, let's set all this aside. Let's, if you guys want me to go into an in-depth review about this DB set, uh, holler at me. Uh, I will. So let's set that aside. Let's get the second DVD set out here. And boom. Walt Disney Treasures. Mickey Mouse the Bl in Black and White, Volume 2, 1928 to 1935. Uh, volume 1 is the uh, more price here out of the two. Uh, volume 1 has the Steamboat Willie episode, which I would have liked, but I really can't afford to fork out that much money to get it right now. Uh, but this is what the front looks like. Uh, the back cover. Uh, in this final volume, the homage to Mickey Mouse's early career is completed with the shorts from 1928's uh, The Barn Dance uh, to his very last black and white short, 1935's Mickey's Kangaroo. Uh, his colorful antics in a black and white world propelled his stardom to that of a superstar. Um, the Mickey craze touched everyone, uh, everybody and everything. In this volume, uh, here Leonard Malton and Disney legend John Hench talk about Mickey's official birthday portraits, visit an unbelievable collection of Mickey, collectibles, rare artifacts, enjoy period photos, publicity, animation, art from the archives. It's all here, plus more in this celebration of the mouse who became a global icon. Uh, it looks like altogether 5 hours and 34 minutes of footage of Mickey the mouse. Uh, let's, let's, uh, I'm going to spend a few seconds opening this up and showing you what's inside this set real quick. So, I'm going to put the camera, back, camera down and, 
And uh, I'll be right I'm back. I'm back. Sorry for about that. I decided to turn off the camera. Mmm. That stuff's good. But back to this. Like I was showing you. Uh, the uh, Mickey Mouse Collection Volume 2. <clears throat> That's open. It comes in this nice little tin. Same thing with this. this the sticker is that those little marks. I'm going to have to go back and scratch off. But we open this little puppy up. Nice little bottom ten, top ten there. Uh, set that aside. Let's uh, pop out the actual case there. Comes in this nice little white and silver little case here. It's all right. So um, Mickey Mouse on the side, back. Let's pop open the case here. And see what we get. Uh, okay. Wow, look at that. It actually comes with like a little card there of Mickey Mouse. And then the authenticity. Uh, I got, looks like this is number 162,871 out of 175,000. That's kind of cool. And then a booklet here of Mickey the Mouse, which is pretty cool. Kind of the same thing as the last one. And here's some more ones here for you to look at. Uh, the uh, the uh, complete Pluto, and then there's the Mickey Mouse Club. These are pretty pricey too. Uh, but uh, let's open up the second side here and see what I get on that. Oh, cool! Uh, just another one. So that's uh, that's this two for you, and then here's this one. So that's all. This is all that, that I've got with this one. Not 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 as so much as the Oswald one, but yeah. There's DVDs. There's a booklet. There's authenticity, and then there's the uh, little image, the little, the little storyboard storyboard photo. So that's it, and that's pretty much what I got today, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, just a little review of what we got here. Uh, Mickey Mouse, the Black and White Volume Two, uh, the Oswald Collection over here. Uh, N.W. Cream Soda, and then the two photos of Jake Snake Roberts and Michael Tarver. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, adventure today, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Talk to you guys later. Peace.